What's going on guys? Welcome to the Tennessee Ant Keeper YouTube channel. My name is Trey and welcome back to another video. This time we are going to be taking two colonies out of hibernation. The colonies are going to be my chromatic aster colony and my laceus colony. You're going to see here, here's the laceus. This colony is really large. They're about ready for a upgrade And here you're going to see my chromatic gastro colony that is inside of the ant shack um, microverse nest. It's one of their all-in-one microverse nests. I really like it and the ants seem to like it as well. So I've made a video before on how to take your ants out of hibernation and typically uh, you want something a little better than uh, what I'm doing here but essentially you just need a way for the ants to progressively get warmer and not stay colder. As you can tell inside of the chromatogaster nest or the ant shack nest, you can see the test tube is facing upwards. You always do this so that way the water, after it starts warming up, does not leak out of the cotton because I've had a bad experience where it does and it drowns your colony out. So just make sure if you're going through this, you do the same. Also, if you notice here, I actually think that the Chromatogaster killed their queen because that looks like a worker dragging the queen's gaster. So there's not really going to be too much to show for this colony. They seem to have done well for hibernation this year um, other than them killing their queen. I fed them some superworm after they warmed up and I noticed them crawling around more, but I don't see this colony lasting unfortunately. I'm trying my best in this clip to get a good shot of the ants, but it's not working. So now we're moving on to the Laceus Americanus. Uh, this is right after I took them out of hibernation and let them warm up a little bit. So it's gonna be kind of hard to see them inside the nest when I decide to show them, but you can tell they are 100% ready to rock and roll because there are ants in the outworld and they're crawling around pretty quick. So here I remove the dark screen. Like I said, it's going to be kind of hard to tell what's going on because the glass is very uh, damp. I guess I didn't take into consideration the uh, water tower inside of the nest whenever I brought them out. So maybe the heat and the cold got to uh, the glass. But just make sure, like I said, to always slowly bring them out of hibernation. Do not rush this process. You can not only flood the nest or damage it, you can also kill the ants if you're not careful. When it comes to the Tar Heel ant nests, you always want to take the water tube off of the nest as well uh, while the nest is warming up, just in case of water leaks out. Again, just a precaution. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. I haven't had it happen with the Tar Heel ant nest. Here is about three days later. Uh, the ants are extremely active here. If you can spot both queens, let me know in the comments. I would love to see if you guys can find both of them. The first one is gonna be pretty easy to find, um, but let's just see if you guys can find them. You'll also notice on the water tower, all those little speckles that looks like the uh, substrate that's inside the nest, but that is actually the larvae of the ants so there's a huge spot there where they've been putting their brood piles and over to the left where all the ants are kind of piled together there's another pile over there it's kind of hard to tell on camera and i couldn't really get too close to this nest without my camera going out of focus because if you look closely on the glass there's kind of a foggy spot where the uh, condensation happened from when i brought them out of hibernation and it's kind of hard to clean it whenever ants are climbing all around it and I don't have a glass to replace it. So this is the best view we got for now. In this shot, I try to get a better angle of all the ants working 
again, it's kind of hard to see what's going on because the camera doesn't focus very well. But I think in this uh, shot, you can see the brood piles a lot better and kind of understand uh, what I was saying earlier about just how big these piles are and why I think this year is going to be the year where I need to upgrade their nest. I'm thinking of something like the Labyrinth or even just getting the Tar Heel Ants hearth. Not the mini hearth, the regular hearth. Let me know in the comments what you guys think I should get. And if you've made it this far and like what you see, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I try to upload as frequently as possible, but here lately, work has just been kind of getting in the way, so I haven't had much time to record videos, but I promise I am working as best I can to get video production back up and running and having weekly videos again. It's just going to take some time, and I hope you guys are patient with me. And I appreciate all of you who have been patient with me. After looking at this clip again, I notice a huge brown spot inside the nest over there to the far left. I'm not sure what that is, so after I get done uploading this video, I would have to check that out, and I'll try to let you guys know in a future video what's going on there. I don't think it's mold, but it's very possible that it is. Here I try to get a good shot of the uh, nest with a light underneath it, because with Tar Heel and Nest you can shine a light underneath it and see what's going on in the dark. Um, I think that it was kind of a fail. I, again, I was trying to manually focus my camera with this. I'm working with an iPhone for now, guys, so uh, just bear with me. I don't have a very good setup for using my camcorder to record everything, but I think this gives a better shot as well at all the brood piles, especially the ones on top of the water tower, because you can kind of see the little specks inside there where they've been eating and where they have food stored over the winter. Also, you might notice some of the ants have kind of like a clear looking gaster. Those are the repletes. That's just the ones who store the food and help energize the colony whenever the ants feel they need uh, energy quick. They also use that uh, food that they store to help feed the larvae and eggs or even the queen not just the workers but they also use that for the queen and everything just about well guys that's it i hope you appreciate this video and i don't know when i will upload again but i'll try to do my best to keep you guys updated as to what's going on thank you guys again for being patient with me and thank you guys for sticking around this has been a Tennessee Innkeeper YouTube video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what colony you want to see next. I plan on bringing my Campanatus out and my Athena Gaster out this season. So uh, be sticking around for that. It's going to be exciting. This will be my third year of having my Campanatus Pennsylvanicus colony. So I'm excited to see how well they grow. Bye, guys.